Hi guys, I'm Shmi. Hello and welcome back to the channel where today is a very special day. Firstly, taking a look around, I've never seen anything quite like this, but it also happens to be delivery day of the very final new Ford GT. The last car off the line is being handed over to the customer here in Detroit today. Now we're here at DBK Storage, who's been responsible for a lot of the community around Ford GTs from the 0506 cars through to the new cars. And of course, having taken delivery of my new GT four and a bit years ago, I feel a little bit part of this, but just feast your eyes around this magnificent room. There are 19 new Ford GTs here, a couple of the older cars as well, plus plenty more, but some of these are completely unique and special, like the two that I'm standing between right now. We're going to be seeing the final car being delivered right here in Michigan. We're in the hometown of Ford. It's an exciting day, but let's first have a little look around at what we've got here. This timing is amazing because the truck is currently pulling back over there and we're going to go and see the final GT coming off the transporter. But before we do, a very quick look here. We need to go through the cars in more detail later because when it comes to Ford GTs, this is unreal. 19 cars currently in here. I don't even think when I went to Multimatic to see my car on the assembly line four and a half years ago, there were that many there at once. Not only that, very special cars. I'm standing between these two, two of the very last cars, in fact, with the full liquid carbon bodywork, the full exposed carbon body. But here we've got the tinted blue details with the red mirrors, plus the white interior, the red, white and blue theme going on. And there the inverse, the tinted red with the blue mirrors. We have a couple of the Ford GT LMs. There are only 20 of those with some magnificent details. Plus, if we squeeze through over this way to come and show you past cars in unique colors, carbon series cars, this one right here is actually the heritage prototype livery. There have always been special heritage cars, including the 67 just here. And the very last car in here is in fact the first delivered car the heritage of the 66, the same livery worn by the original 1966 GT40 winner at the 24 Hours of Le Mans. Not only that, in this room, just to show you the different cars, so much other stuff as well to take a look at, including a 918 Spider Visac, which isn't the color that you think it is. But this, this example here, this is one of the Studio Series cars with this painted livery over the top, the wraparound on the flying buttress and also over the roof and the front of the car. Some of the older cars, the 19s. I'm in dreamland. When it comes to Ford GTs, this is absolutely my dreamland. But I think everyone's gone outside for a reason. So we'll come past the BMWs over here and we'll go and see what's happening outside this is it then the reliable transporter <laughs> revealing the car look at that we're going to be talking about all of the details but there it is the last new ford gt on the transporter ready to be unloaded out emerges the car <laughs> the color of this is actually really special as well We'll get to that in a bit more detail when it's down on the ground. Look at that. The navy blue with the red calipers, the regular wheels fitted with the Sport Cup 2s. Lift system up at the moment, of course. Down it comes. Coming down to the ground. This is quite the moment for everybody involved. Steve, who has handed over over 500 of them, eight or 900 or so cars in the United States out of the 1,350 in total over a couple of years. The last GT touches down on the ground. Well, look at that. The color, by the way, is antimatter blue. It's the same color as you saw on the front of the prototype heritage livery over the bonnet areas. We'll go and have another look at that later on. But this is it. This is the end of a chapter, really, a very special chapter for everything involved in the Ford GT and everybody who's been involved in the program behind it. Before we go and spend too much time with the new car, I want to show you some of the highlights here, like a Bayside Blue R34 GTR. We've got a string of very nice BMWs as we come on through as well. I mentioned this Porsche 918 Spider. This is really very interesting because if you're like me, 
and quite into these things, you might suspect that this is acid green, a fairly famous 980 inspired color. But in fact, this is something different. You'll see it's actually a metallic pearl. It's called pearl acid yellow as opposed to green. I think it's the only one in this color in the world and everybody would be mistaken in thinking it's acid green. We've also got quite a few other nice things around the GT3 RS Bisac, the GT2 RS Bisac, 4GT tucked into the corner next to the BMW Z8 with the Alpina wheels and then we have a few more for GTs including another of the GT LMs but I want to just take you for a walk around because this room is really really something for people who are fans of the Ford GT and of course I've been so close to this story throughout this is unreal I remember seeing it being launched at the very beginning at the Detroit Auto Show out here in this town back in January 2015 and who would ever have thought that firstly I might have been lucky enough to purchase one and secondly to be here surrounded by all of these. I mean, look at that. That's such a lovely paint color, that blue with the silver stripes against it. We've got cars in all sorts of different specifications. The full carbon body was certainly a pricey option, we can say, but look at the finish. Look at the way this is done with the signatures under the wing there as well. And in fact, talking wings, you'll notice that every single car is stored with the wings up. That is because of the hydraulics. You are recommended to store them up. I'm frequently at collections where I'm suggesting that to the owners you should definitely keep them up it's better for the longevity of it just to show you the GT LM a little bit more this has the full exposed blue carbon fiber around all of the lower sections the mirror arms these vents down the side of the engine bay window then down at the back obviously the diffuser as well check out the exhaust system also with the stamping here GT LM the Akrapovich exhaust titanium exhaust and look inside it look at those turbine blades of course the GT LM badging as well and inside it also has an asymmetric interior the driver's seat is navy alcantara the passenger seat is black it also has some 3d printed shift paddles and a few other unique details and touches as well of course fitted with the carbon fiber wheels which was an option for the car that is really very very nice if we come on through a little bit more i believe that by the way is based on the blue of the jaguar f-type svrs a lot of the cars obviously inspired by colors from all sorts of different brands this is the antimatter blue paint i was mentioning this whole front section over the bonnet the hood of the car is that antimatter blue the same color as we see on the final example outside of course finished with a stripe running over the top and in fact look at the stripe with that exposed carbon pinstripe detail running up through it that level of detail just amazing and to see two of the different heritage celebration editions really of those four years that Ford won because that's what this car was a return to Le Mans 50 years later to go and race in 2016 where they were victorious in the GTE Pro class and of course to bring the road car into production to really give tribute to that this color reminds me a lot of the blue electrico i have on my ferrari sf90 it suits it really well again with the carbon stripes but it's been quite the journey for these from the very beginning it was always going to be a number just over a thousand the final build is near enough 1350 cars in total and obviously 20 of those are right here at the moment as we look around and wait for the final one to be brought in right here to be part of this whole celebration. Obviously a huge thanks to the owner of the final car and also to DBK for the opportunity for me to be here and see all of these today. In it comes, look at this color as the light moves over it. We now have a room with 20 new Ford GTs. No longer just 19, but number 20 has arrived here as well to complete the lineup for now. Sounds good with the titanium exhaust. Look at the color in here. The paint color is lovely. Really nice. Finished with the gloss exposed carbon fiber for the details accents around it time for it to drop <laughs> always impressive to see that look at this under the lights look at that car what a stunning example handover process complete and we can take a look at the very final Ford GT the last chassis number of the new GTs just 
feast your eyes over this car, of course, as beautiful as any. A car that has been in production for a number of years now, and what a way to finish it. This is chassis N260, mine is J211, as it happens, the letter representing the year, and of course, up to about 250 or 260 cars maximum in a year. That was always the plan from the outset, to build effectively one car per working day over five years or so, hence the 1,350 cars in total. This being the last, this antimatter blue. In fact, look at quite how blue the car is when it's under the lighting here inside the garage. Earlier outside, it looks almost close to black. We can start to see a little bit more of it. And in fact, just to pop this open and show you inside, we've got the full carbon fiber for the sills, still with the protective film over the top of them. And of course the door cards as well, the black leather with this ribbed inlay style, everything that's supplied with the car, the front plate plinth, the lithium battery charger, the keys, and of course also all of the packaging. But as said, this is, in fact, let me head round to the other side, N260, the end. The last one built, the last chassis number, three and a half litre twin turbo V6 back there. The dihedral doors that pop open, and there we have it, the end. The end of an era. And what an era it has been with this car. Following on from the 0506 model that came for Ford's 100th anniversary. This, of course, for the 50th anniversary of the race car. And what a design it was as well. I mean, just look at the floating buttresses, that view that you have straight through the car, something that will be remembered forever into the future. The rake on the front windshield, this very long nose, this very wide front end as well. The look that in many ways links back to the original GT40 of the 1960s and that older model GT, the first gen GT, this being the second gen as well. I like the red calipers against the navy blue behind those graphite gray five twin spoke wheels the standard Ford GT wheel design. A very special car to end a very, very special run in a very special place. You do not often, as I've said, see this. And in fact, talking of different specs, different colors, different things like that, there is actually something over here that I would quite like to show you in just a moment, but also things like this. Race suit worn by Jerry Hand, winning driver in 2016 at Le Mans, there in the garage, which is magnificent. But let me open this. As well as all of the magazines here that feature the GT, various different appearances, Evo, road and track, Top Gear, everything, this is quite fun. This is something that I really like when it comes to details of these kind of cars, as I often speak about on exclusive car registry, but this is the ultimate. For the 1,350 for GTs, look at this, the 1,350 cars and their respective specs. In fact, come through here, because I have found mine earlier. It is tucked in there beneath the three, the red with the gold stripes. That is my Ford GT, one of the 1,350 or so cars. As this says, mission accomplished from race to road. What a journey that has been. And it's really fun to see how many different colors and specs there are here, like the purple ones and green ones and gold ones and all sorts of different things. That is definitely something to treasure and to show, I think, over at the Schmuseum. A detail on this car has just been brought to my attention. Now, the thing with the four GTs, as I mentioned earlier, is they are built in partnership with Multimatic. Multimatic are based just outside of Toronto in Canada. And then of course they come over to the US. So my car was assembled in Canada, came to the US, and then was shipped over to Europe. In this car though, there is actually a fun little nod. Now, just like the last one as we've seen with all of the protection, effectively brand new, but I want to show you inside here on the gear shift selector. Yes, there is a maple leaf in the very center. That's the button for manual, in fact. So when you popped it into gear, you press here to go into manual or back into automatic, but that's quite a fun little detail that's been added to this. And actually the smell in here is completely brand new and lovely. These are part of the final cars. Of course, very, very significant machines. Obviously there was a big addition to the MSRP for the full exposed carbon body, but these are going to be things that stand out forever, you know, with these kind of details, with this finishing touch on all of them. What a car, 
what a place. It's not just the fact that this is a room with 20 new Ford GTs. I can't quite get my head around saying that, but it's which cars that are here. Obviously the last car, the full liquid carbon cars, the GT LMs, some of the heritage editions, some of the other colors and different cars that are around. And in fact, something I haven't shown you by purchasing the full liquid carbon GT, Multimatic actually also created a pretty special piece of garage memorabilia, which is what we have here, a silhouette of the GT as a sample with that full visual carbon fiber. These are the kind of things that I truly love. They only made, I think it's 30 in total of those full carbon cars. So that's a really, really special thing. Then of course you have the cars themselves. That lightning blue car looks awesome. That's my kind of thing. I like those bright, vibrant colors. And obviously we're looking at cars in so many different specs and things around here. Maybe one day I need to add an older gen, first gen GT to the garage. I talk about it so often. Obviously at some point, it's gonna to have to happen. Just have to be careful with those things when you close the doors to make sure all goes well. But to be here today has been an absolute privilege, a bookend of the whole process. To have been at the introduction of this car when the original concept car, if you will, except so close to production was rolled out at the auto show with very little talk about it in advance. Of course, if you knew there were rumors, but it didn't really seem substantiated. And then of course it was the one last thing, boom, there it is, the new Ford GT and the expectation of it returning to Le Mans, the story behind it, the very small numbers, the demand, the whole allocation and application process really behind it has been well, unlike any other really. And I just feel honored to have been lucky to be part of this and to have been here today to have been here for that end of the whole experience the very last car the very final one it sat right here and i hope at some point in the future i will be lucky enough to be reunited again with this car down the line for today though thank you ever so much to dbk and to everyone else who's been involved in today of course to the owner of this fabulous machine what a day it's been and a big thanks as always to you guys for being part of the journey. Thank you very much for your support and I'll see you again very soon. Cheers. A bit of a bonus clip. We've returned back to DBK's garage to meet with Garen Nikogosian, who was design manager for the 4GT, currently head of design at Multimatic. How are you doing? I'm doing all right. It's an absolute honor to meet with you and to be here oh, with the all of you. The pleasure's all mine. <laughs> <laughs> but um, there's something we're gonna show as well, which is, so, uh, DBK and I decided that uh, as a token of appreciation for you being such a great brand ambassador for the Thank car you. and driving your car and making it uh, be exposed to so many other people that never get a chance to see one of these things and the graciousness with which you present the vehicle and its history and how sensitive you are to what the car was all about, we figured we'd, uh, we'd love to provide you with a uh, token of our appreciation and uh, hope you like this. This is really special. And, uh... Wow. So, trying to capture the feeling of your car and its history and what it's based on in a commemorative print. You've and, put together something incredible here. And my son Alex, who happens to be the biggest GT fan I've ever met, <laughs> also thought that as one of his favorite YouTubers, he would, li he would like for you to have one of his drawings. Now he's 11 and dad didn't help draw that. So everybody <laughs> needs to know that. That's quite important. <laughs> this Say is, hi, Alex. Hello. <laughs> this is super cool. Both of these will of course go up in my garage, but this is like obviously the accurate artwork of my car with its history, with that link back to the reason behind the color scheme, the chassis number. This is such a lovely piece. <laughs> and that's something we all appreciated. When we found out your spec, we're like, you know, that's a cool way to do it because it ties your heritage to one of the most important chapters of the vehicle's existence, which wasn't always about Shelby. And it was, it was definitely the Holman Moody cars, the Allen Mann cars, the wire cars later, as well as the obvious Shelby and uh, McLaren and everybody else's connection. So the Celebrate GT, there's so many different celebrations you could have. And you picked one that really fit the whole story. <laughs> For me, I mean, the GT40 always had such a, a UK connection anyway. Absolutely. And for, for me, as a Brit, being lucky enough to purchase one of these at the, at the start, it was 
immediate when I worked out this connection and all the links and reasons. It was kind of, please, can I have a car with a custom colored stripe to do it in gold? I think it was the very first one, in fact, that had bespoke stripes. I painted. think it was, 100% um, it was. But the storyline yeah. was almost, it was yeah. written, wasn't it? It was like, it has to be. <laughs> and do you know what else is cool? That it's a modern interpretation of what was. Yeah. Because the way you've combined the liquid red with the gold stripes, the bespoke gold stripes, actually captures the entirety of the essence of the Allen Man cars, but it does it in a modern kind of way without being overtly out there. Now, our own heritage, since we've, you've ordered your car, there's now a heritage, as everybody knows. Yeah. And that's more of a literal representation of it, but the, with a modern take on the graphics. Yeah. But the way you did yours was subtle, and it almost celebrated all of them, and not just the number 16 car, per se. Yeah. So I think there's enough room in the world for multiple ways of telling the story, and I think yours tells it in an equally important way as the official heritage offering of 2022 does. Well, hey, I'm so. just choosing the colors. <laughs> if, if you hadn't created and put together such a wonderful car in the first and, place. <laughs> and that goes to a very, very small, dedicated team. Every time I have a chance to talk to this car, uh, people make that kind of a comment. And it's, it's almost like you have a bit of sadness because not everybody that worked on it with you could be in the video. Yeah. But it was such a small team and everybody worked so hard that it's almost difficult to accept any kind of um, I don't know, congratulatory notes about the car without thinking of everybody oh. that worked on it back in the day. And uh, everybody, every one of those cars, des uh, guys deserves and gals deserves a, a fair bit of credit for pulling something like this off in record time. Like you pinch yourself being a part of this program. People like you make it worthwhile because people wow. get it. We, we didn't sleep much and it's uh, good to know that people like what we ended up with. <laughs> absolutely. Well, thank you very much for this absolutely wonderful piece to take home you're more than welcome both yourself and alex as well of course <laughs> appreciate it and dbk and everyone else i can't wait to get this back thank you appreciate it a lot